everybody. Welcome back to my studio and welcome to another installment of Drawsome. Today we are going to draw trees, different types of trees. I'm going to draw different types of trees. So we are just going to jump right in here and let's see. I've got several different things, one of which when drawing, not many people will actually like draw a tree they'll paint them so it's like different when you start out with the sketch versus actually painting the, the tree because there's so many different layers to it but I'm gonna show you how to uh, sketch it out first before you, you draw the paint it so um, it's really kind of just a simple you know sketchy little where you don't you don't add as much detail at first it is just a simple sketch but and then you would go in here with either your watercolors or your acrylic or your oils and this is just giving you your basic shape that you would use as a kind of a guideline but if you wanted to actually sketch out a tree you would take this basic sketch and use it and then refine it with your whether it be charcoal or uh, graphite or soft pastels or things like that or even you know oil pastels so all trees have that trunk and of course they're on a the ground And I always draw the roots where they're kind of exposed a little bit. I guess that's <laughs> just my style of doing things. And then I always put little grassy things around the bottom, kind of make it look more like it's, you know, has other things growing around it. And then your branches coming off that main trunk. And I would sketch just a little bit of, give it a little texture. And then here is where it gets a little interesting when it comes to the top of the tree, the, the basic, you know, the, the full portion of the tree where all the leaves and everything are. You would definitely want to show that there's layers to a tree. That's not just a flat object, that it has a backside to it. So you, when you draw your front section, Make sure you include bits and pieces to the back side. And then this portion here, like the front side, you could Continue these, like don't bring them all the way up through the front because that is not how trees look. You skip through and you draw small little offshoots. That kind of shine through that you'll see like But you're going to continue on these. So it looks like they're just kind of peeking through. And make them smaller as they go up. 
because branches taper. They don't stay the same thickness all the way up. So you're going to make them a little bit. Like so. Like that. So it still looks, it makes it look more three dimensional. And then if you're going to have, let's say the sun's coming from this direction, this side here is going to be shadowed along with bits and pieces of the tops of the trees. So that it shows that it's rounded. Like this. And you want to make sure that these bits and pieces here also get that treatment. Just so it has that, like one side's darker than the other because the sun will be coming this way. So that's one type of tree. That would be, you know, like a an oak tree, a maple tree, something along those lines. Then we would have, let's say we're going to do pine trees, which is appropriate. We got Christmas coming. So when it comes to a pine tree, if you're just going to sketch out a pine tree, um, and again, I keep saying this, but um, when you're painting a pine tree, let's say you're using acrylics. I'm going to use acrylics for example. You would start out with your darker colors first, your mid-tones, and then your lights to show the highlights. Um, I would definitely try and do the same thing with a graphite, but <laughs> it almost looks like floof. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> you know that it's got the trunk through the center, but you're not going to be drawing it because you've got the front side of the pine tree that's over it this way. So you're just going to sketch out a basic pine tree shape but through the center you could show that there's the trunk kind of high, you know, shining through here and there. And pine trees do grow in like a layer. So they're very, very much layered. And they always taper up so they're smaller at the top and then have like a very much larger base like so now you have the shape and we don't have to show all this in the center simply because they're very bushy you want to show some of it but not all of it So I would go in here and just go like that. And that would be a pine tree. Let me take that dark one out of there. Now this one even looks like it has snow on it, which you could do. Now another one, 
another tree that a lot of people don't think about because they might not have them in their area is palm trees. Now when I draw palm trees, and I draw a lot of palm trees, they have a very large base and they taper up towards the top. And there are different types of palm trees, by the way. Um, you could, it, like I said, it, they, they taper and they do bend. They have this, some of them bend, some of them don't. Some of them are just straight up and down, which are kind of boring looking, but, uh, they're very shaggy. And in this part, I would make it dark because it's going to be covered up with palm fronds. And I know this looks weird, <laughs> but then you just come back with your pencil and off that line, you just make little like that. Do them all in the same sort of uh, in the same direction to show that they're all kind of folding over. There we go. And you can just keep filling it in until you've got what you want. There. And there's your palm tree. Now, um, wanted to draw one other tree, and that would be like a cartoon tree, which are much, much easier to draw than, you know, using with graphite, um, because you're just doing a basic outline that you can go back later and, you know, use your darker lines and then just feel, they're very flat. There's not a lot of dimension to them, but yet there is. <laughs> Let me explain to you what I mean. For a cartoon tree, you have its trunk, which some people over exaggerate, which I think is the cuter part. Draw it this way. It's almost looks like Animal Crossing. And then they come up with their um, the trunk portion of it up into the branches. And they might come down like that. Like so. And then this will be very... And then you're not going to see that backside. There won't be a backside. It'll be, like I said, very one dimensional. And you will just continue. Making this very rounded. And then you add bits and pieces in like this. And you can even go like so, and then when you want to show the bark, it's basically just kind of 
kind of wobbly lines. And then, I don't know where this started, but they do this like a supposed to make it look like tree when it's actually that's supposed to be like the center of the tree if you cut it this way <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like that so we would put our ground in here like that and maybe so that would be a cartoon tree and you would put the you know, grass in like like that maybe a little piece of grass here there let's see i'm gonna use a uh this is a graphite aquarelle create a color pencil it's a graphite pencil but it's a water graphite pencil so i'm just gonna Go in here on some of these and show you where the shading should go on some of these. This has a 4B, so it's much blacker than just regular graphite. trees lots and lots and lots of different types of trees and like I said with these three I would sketch them out not so heavily um, unless I was really gonna do like a very detailed graphite picture or charcoal picture but or paint over it so again I wouldn't add all this detail to these three if I was going to be painting this is purely cartoon purely cartoon so it's going to have you know the very dark black outline so yeah, we are finished with trees. So I hope you learned something. I hope you got entertained in one way or another. And yeah, me and Jen, please go check out her trees. I know she's doing something really cool with this uh, particular prompt. And speaking of prompts, we have come up with an entire new year of prompts for 2021 and they are going to be so much fun and uh yeah I, I i really cannot wait to start with the new year but we still have a few weeks left of 2020 which is you know the strangest year ever but we will continue to finish 2020 and then start the new year fresh with a whole brand new list of prompts and yeah until then please Keep following along with us. Post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag DrawSomeSwad. And we can take a look at your pictures and possibly you'll get a shout out on next week's video. Just like Tara Corvus here. So until next week, I sure do love you bunches. See you then. Bye.